Hi friends, today we will see a tutorial on a development of surfaces. So in that problem statement, they have given a draw a development of square prism with base side 40 mm and axis height is 80 mm. So this type of problem we have to solve by the parallel line development method. So in that problem statement, they have given the base side Four mm and axis height H they have given at TMM. So as for this problem statement, we have to uh, develop this square prism. For that purpose, we have to draw a square prism in HP. So here. I will take a dimension of 40 by 40 in HP. So for that purpose, I will draw a vertical line of 40 mm. Horizontal line of 40 mm. And these two lines I will join with the help of another lines. So here I will give naming to these all corners. So this will be A1, this will be the B2, this will be C3, this will be the D4. Now I will take all projection into a front view and this we have drawn this square into a top view when we will view this square prism from top view. So this will be the top view. And I will take all projection into front view. So, with the help of roller scale, I will take all projection into front view. And I will find out the axis location while joining the diagonal of this top view. An axis height is 80 mm. I will mark that 80 mm height. Now our front view is almost com completed. So we have to give naming to that front view. The projection of 1 and 4 is coming here at bottom. This will be 1, 4. Now projection of 2 and 3 will be here. Now the projection of that AD is coming here because at top and bottom its square, square cross section is there. So I will give naming A comma D. So here I will give naming B and C. <coughs> now I will take projection here. While developing this square prism, we have to cut from one side. And in the parallel line development, we have to cut this prism on one side and we have to develop parallel to these surfaces, parallel to lateral surfaces. So here I will uh, draw horizontal line and here uh, after developing this square prism that rectangle will be get obtained so here uh, development of this prism the will get pyramid 4 into side 4 into number 4 into sides so why I have multiply with 4 because this square has a 4 side and one side dimension is how much 40 mm so the pyra parameter of that square is 160 mm. So the development length of this rectangle will be how much? 180, 160. So here.
I will mark 160. I will take projections. Now our developed part is this. Now we have to divide this rectangle into a equal parts. So here as per this top view, that top view square has four sides. So we have to divide this developed rectangle into four parts. So here 160 divided by 4. So each side will be a 40 40 mm. So I will divide this 40, 80, 120 and last will be the 160. So after that, I have to take projection into a front view. After that, we have to give naming to each and every point. So here is naming the curve will be start or this development will be start from one. This will be two. This will be three, four, and last will be one. Why one? Because this after. Uh, holding this square prism that one point will be matched with one point so here also we have to give name from a this will be b this will be c this will be d and again this will be a because a point will be joined again to a so this will be the development of the square prism so we have to give naming so this will be the prism square prism development Again, we have to write here the dimension. This will be the 160 mm. This side is 40 mm. in axis height is 80 mm so in that way we have completed a problem of uh, development of square prism thank you